but felt when it's wet and as soon as it touches snow, it starts to build up platform shoes. Start so, yep, you start growing and it's good for a short person like me, but it's not very easy to walk in. So if you're like Dev, he, he likes platform shoes, then you might want felt. Hi everyone, Ryan Ratliff here from Mad River Outfitters and Midwest Fly Fishing Schools. Today we're going to talk about the different types of wading boots. There's three main types. You have rubber, you have felt, and then you do you add a stud. Do you add a stud to either one of those or do you buy one that's studded? So you're out on the stream and that is not the time to be thinking, hmm, wonder if I need rubber boots, wonder if I need felt boots. So you, you give us a call or you stop into the shop and you say, I'm in the market for, for boots. We're gonna ask you a lot of questions like we normally do. The first one we're gonna talk about is a rubber boot. The rubber sole is great for various terrains. If I'm gonna be hiking into a place, just like a hiking boot would give me a lug sole that's gonna grip onto rocks and mud and different types of terrain. The rubber sole is gonna do the same thing on a wading boot. The benefit of it is that the rubber is gonna be a tacky rubber that is specifically designed to grip wet objects, wet rocks, wet uh, slippery banks, that type of thing. So it's gonna be very helpful in that situation. The felt is gonna be smooth. It's not gonna have cleats in it designed like a hiking boot would. Felt is the best when you're in the stream and there are slippery, slimy rocks. There's different types of logs that might have some, a little bit of algae on them, that type of thing. So that is your flat felt. A studded boot is gonna be either one of these soles and it's gonna have a metal stud in it. There's all kinds of different studs out on the market. The favorite ones in the shop are from Sims or the carbide tip. Again, they come different types. It's not the same type for rubber and for felt, but they have specific ones for felt, specific ones for the rubber Vibram soles. Now let's talk about some of the, the pros and the cons of each one of these boots. So since I have the felt in the hand, the felt is great, like I said, when you're in the stream and let's say you're making a float trip and you are in a boat, you're walking down, you're floating down the stream, you're gonna get out and there's some rocks that are maybe round, but they're kind of slippery. So you're gonna step onto those. And if you just had a rubber sole, it might not grip as well. So the felt is gonna grip really well to those types of situations. Uh, sometimes even uh, more flatter rock, maybe like a flat plated size rock, that can, be, that can be good too, that's very slippery. The felt will be okay on that. The downside to felt, there's no tread in here. So if I get out on a bank, a mud bank, even a sandy bank, the sand and mud will pack into here and as soon as I step on that, it can get slippery. Also, if you do any fishing in the winter time, uh, you can always ask Dev, he experienced this firsthand, but felt when it's wet and as soon as it touches snow, it starts to build up platform shoes. So, yep, you start growing and it's good for a short person like me, but it's not very easy to walk in. So, if you're like Dev, he, he likes platform shoes, then you might want felt, but not very safe. All right. So, again, you can put studs in felt and that, that can help with attraction, but if it's wet conditions, uh, and you're gonna step on something that's smooth or there's a lot of clay type slip mud and sand, then that can be a problem. Also wet on commercial tile is very slippery on commercial tile. Not that you have encounter that when fishing, but you never know. All right, the rubber sole, there's lots of different types. This is a, this is a Sims boot, so this is a Vibram rubber sole. There's gonna be little spots in there for your cleats. You can put those in there if you wanted to. Um, and that just makes it even more traction. But the rubber sole, like I said, is great for when you're hiking into somewhere and you have various types of terrain that you're gonna be walking on. It's also really good if you are going to be uh, getting into a boat and you want to have the most traction, but you're not allowed to have studs. Most people don't want studs in their boats or on float planes. So a Vibram sole is a lot more versatile when you're doing fly out trips and you don't really know what you're gonna encounter train wise, if you are uh, in, a, in a guide's boat and you might need to be doing a lot of walking on the bank, not just in the stream. So rubber is a, rubber is a 
good choice. Again, there's little ports in most of the rubber boots where you put the studs into. They give you plenty of options there. You can, you can take the studs, put them in. You can take them out. Nowadays on most boots, uh, it's a lot better than it used to be back in the day. So when it comes down to soles, the other thing that people mention is, are we allowed to have felt in certain places? And there's a bunch of stuff, even on the bottom of this sole, you see Sims puts this invasive species thing on there. Um, and I, I work at a fly shop, so I'm not a biologist. Obviously I wouldn't be working at a fly shop, right? But all this types of stuff, we know that there's invasive species. We know they're in their waterways, that type of thing. So that is, it's kind of a debatable thing, but I think the biggest thing is we you need to know if felt soles are outlawed in your state or not that you're gonna be fishing. So you pull out your phone, look it up. You're not gonna memorize this, or at least I'm not gonna memorize this. But basically, there's a few states you can kind of see. Maryland, Alaska, Missouri, Nebraska, Rhode Island, South Dakota, and then Yellowstone Park. So a lot of very popular fishing places. Make sure you keep that in mind. If you're ever gonna to go to Yellowstone, then and you like felt, then you're gonna to need to have a backup boot that is not felt. So keep that in mind. If you need any help with this stuff, or you have any comments on what you like, uh, big topic is what pattern do you use for putting your studs in the bottoms of the boots, that type of thing, how many studs. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear what you have to say. And also, if you're not sure, uh, feel free to give us a call and we will definitely walk you through that and uh, we could even stud them too for you if you put that in your order notes that you'd like us to stud them just put a boot in there and a package of studs and we'll get we'll get you all set taken care of all right thank you again for watching and make sure you subscribe leave us a comment and like and we will see you next time thanks if you like this video hit subscribe it helps out a lot and check out these videos we think you might like them too